and it looks like it's going to rain. Oh my days, look at it. If it rains, we're going to be in trouble, guys. Crucial defence of Salian River Junction by the 31st Division. Heroism in the foxholes. The 21st Division. Command leadership in the field. And the 11th Division towards Bataan for the heroic stand. Welcome to my channel. Vlog Live 24 7. <laughs> There's a massive shell here. Yeah, war is very destructive. The second regular division, Japanese annihilated at the Battle of the Points. Wow, the first regular division, to comrades in arms. Yep, this is what this is all about. We can't go on the top. Sad to say guys, we cannot go to the top because they're doing some renovation works up there. This is showing the Philippines flag. Wow. Look at this cannon, guys. Gin's gonna get a photo of me here, taking it at the cannon. Wow, what a view here, look at this. Amazing. But then look at this thing. And I'm sure this isn't really a big cannon, but it's a cannon all the same. Right guys, yep, I got some pictures. Look at the view here, amazing. Look at the clouds turning a bit dark. Let's see how steep this is. And it's so peaceful, very, very quiet. Not much noise, or should I say no noise besides us talking. Very, very quiet. And then this is back up, looking at the cross. We've had our tour here of Mount Samat. So now we're heading back to get something to eat. Time now is 155. This is lunch. Huh? Grapefruit. Oh, grapefruit, yeah? This is grapefruit for you guys. Where is it? This one. Uh, grapefruit. The round one. That's, the round one. That's a grapefruit tree there. Wow. Okay. I can't eat that. I'll tell you that. And that's what? Mango. Mango. Oh, this is a mango tree. Wow, this is a mango tree there. Can't see any mangoes. All gone. It's not mango season. Jem said. Wow, there's these little, little, they're massive things. What are those massive? Oh, that's a dragon. Dragonflies. Oh, there's some massive dragonflies. Wow. Massive, massive dragonflies. Oh, God, I don't want to get in that hole. Wow. They are big. So many dragonflies, look at them. Loads of them. They are massive. Wow. Absolutely massive. Don't know if you can see it in the video. I'm filming it, but I don't know if it will pick up, but they are big and there's loads of them. So we're back at the Mount Samat guest house, they said it's called, I think. Yep, guest house. Bye bye, thank you, you take care. It's a pity it was closed to go into the top. Sorry? To go to the top was closed, isn't yes, it? Sir. Yeah, yeah. Because there are fallen debris brought by Typhoon Karina. Oh, so it's... for your safety, the cross area is closed to the Closed, oh, so it's because of the storm, that's why, yeah. Oh, that's right, then that's, but, that's, uh, that's fair enough. storm, sir, you can go near the cross, but you cannot enter inside. Uh. The, uh, 
There are elevator going up. Oh, is there? Yes, oh, before. Sir. You can so, go to the arms of the cross. You can walk left and right. You can see the 360 degree of Bataan Peninsula. Wow. But now the cross is more than 50 years old. The whole structure is for rehabilitation first. Ah, uh, so we couldn't even go up there anyway. Yeah, yeah. Are they thinking of bringing yes, it sir. back yes, at sir. some stage in the future? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just need some work on it. And it costs a lot of money. Yes. Yes. Budget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The budget. Yeah. Okay then. Thank so you, Brad. Please follow the Bayanan ng Kagitingan FB page so that you can see if the cross and museum is open to the public. Ah. Okay. Yeah. And Check the page sir. first. The website. Yes. Thank you. And your name is? I'm Heidi Pablo. Heidi Pablo. Thank you very much, Thank Heidi. You Thank, you. Thank you. You take care. Bye bye. Yep. That was Heidi Pablo. She gave us a little talk about why the cross is closed and it was because of the typhoon naturally obviously that would be something that would cause destruction yes create a lot of problems for visitors like us that want to come and see things these guys they've just stopped off at the gift place we can get some gifts and you know what happens with us we always like to get a fridge magnet to bring back and stick on our fridge got quite a bit of a collection there so everywhere we go we like to get a magnet and chuck it on the fridge to say yeah we've been there we've been there so yep so these guys they're just here it's just a small place but I'm sure they've got things that we'd want which is a fridge magnet obviously if you want oh I felt a bit of rain I felt a little rain drop I think we better get back down before it starts raining. Don't really want to be going down this steep hill, the steep mountain in the wet. Because the way this guy was driving that van, the white one there, he was doing wheel slides, literally. Going around the bends, it was really... So I don't know about the tread on that thing. So yeah, I think it's best we get out now and get back. Yeah guys, we are at the Casas Filipinas. Different place, isn't it? Look at this. This is just in the middle of nowhere. So everybody's just looking around. It's got a guest house as well. You can actually stay here. So that's good, isn't it? You can actually stay and see everything. This is it, guys. So that's the Las Casas Filipinas. There, a bazaar. Yeah, I got that right. we can go on this shaded area it's an hour walk with a meal and all that it's just too much for us that Mount Pinatubo's taking it out I can't walk for another hour in this heat so this is the best it's gonna be guys just looking at the outside of it when we come back to the Philippines another time we can come and have a look at it and uh, walk around properly but for now no way Jose I'm not going to be walking around my knee is absolutely shot it's swollen I really can't do another big walk not one day after the other <laughs> no way I'm not doing two big walks this one's only an hour but it's going to feel like two or three with my leg as it is we just walked up Mount Samat and that was quite steep and that took a toll on my knee again so yep we're gonna give this Las Casas a skip on this trip we'll have to come back another day when I say another day I mean another trip to the Philippines and prepare for it at least we'll be in a more fitter state Nicole she can hardly walk she's wobbling everybody's wobbling except Jeff and Gian 
and it would have been a guided tour for an hour. But it's a nice place though. We'll have to come back another time. But as it stands, them guys in the shade there, look at them. While I'm in this nice shaded gazebo type thing. Nice place. <laughs> don't know why they don't want to come here with me. But yeah. Oh, they've even got a boat. Look at that. I don't know if you can see a boat there. Or well, not a boat. I don't know what it is. It's a little... There's quite a few people in there. So you can actually go for a, a lake ride. That's not too bad. I wouldn't mind doing that. If we could sit down and something took us around, I think I could hack that. But I'm not walking. Even Nicole's struggling. They've got a boat ride there though, a boat. Oh. It's like a paddy field there. Grass, that's how grass, not grass, <laughs> that's how rice, <laughs> that's a rice field, paddy field, to get the rice all made, that's what it looks like. This is the Japanese Philippines friendship. Just have a quick look, it's only me coming over here, do a little pit stop. Oh, it's a little, well, a big circle I should say, I keep saying little. <laughs> Why do I keep saying little? It's a big place. And look what's there. There's a bell. Wonderful. Let's see if there's anything that dings it in there. Nope. There's no ding. <laughs> There's no ball in there. Bagak. All right, let's get a nice shot of this, guys. Wow, it is baking. It is so hot. Bagak Monuments. Oh, it's the Bagak Monument. All right, I'll let you not read that. I'm just gonna scroll down. And this is for my Filipino viewers. Got it in Tagalog for you. So you can read what that says. That's my heart getting some book on here. Look at that. And loads and loads of coconut there. Guys, this is a Jolly Bee feast. Look at this chicken. Wow, look at that. So we are gonna tuck in, isn't it, Jeff? We're gonna tuck into this Jolly Bee now. I've been waiting for this all day. So this is a finger job, mate. Or should I be etiquette-wise? So. Wow, this is a close one, isn't it? A close-up. Mm. Very nice. This is our breakfast, lunch and dinner here, guys, isn't it? This is Vista Ma. Bataan. Wow, some massive circulating here. Look at this. Wow. Come on, Steph, play the piano. <laughs> she just hit one key. It's okay, thanks. <laughs> If you are not, I know. If you follow me, sir, yeah. I, I have a... Oh, no, no, no. I'm with my wife. We're just waiting for some other people. Yes. Ask her there. She's in there. <laughs> okay. Me, <laughs> huh? No, no, it's fine. We haven't got time. We're just looking around. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everybody. 
<laughs> Vlog Life 247. Vlog Life. Vlog Life, yeah. Vlog. No, no, no Facebook. <laughs> huh? Only YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just having a quick look around your how, mall, how Vista many, Mall. How many subscribers? Uh, I think I, I wish it was. <laughs> I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be your here. Wish. Sixty thousand, about sixty. Check it out, Vlog Life Two Four Seven. Hey guys, this is how it rolls in the Philippines. You just knock it out. Do you know why? I'm still waiting for my cards. Ah, oh, there it is. Vlog Life. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. You got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you are, guys. That was us drinking yesterday, having some soju, soju juice, soju juice, soju, yeah, yeah, yeah. And some soju. You love soju? <laughs> That's nice. All right, then, guys. Yeah, they must be into their music. They love their kawaii pianos. This is another piano here. <laughs> Let's give it a little tinkle. Look at these two. Hey, I caught ya. Hey, just chucking it down this rain. And look at this vehicle. Oh, one night on it. He's asking for trouble. Unbelievable. That's why when you're driving in the Philippines, you've got to have eyes in the back of your head. Wow, did you see that vehicle? That's so much lights on that one. And we just saw one that had nothing. Unbelievable. Right storm, guys. Storm and a half, just flashing. Wow, that was a bright flash. That was. Oh, there was a motorcyclist there. No lights whatsoever. He's taking a big risk in this river. Wow, just lightning everywhere. It's rapid, isn't it? Look at it. It's like dancing lights. We've got another adventure on our hands, guys. This is another adventure. Driving in a storm. Wow. I don't know what happened there, but there was a right dip. Dip in the road. It's just flashing away. <laughs> 